breaking news and welcome back to another video day guys another day another dollar i figured i'd come to you today with some very interesting market uh volatility that occurred today yesterday we broke out of balance going to the upside buyers were looking really good Start, I, I discussed in yesterday's video talking about how there were steps that need to be taken in order for the buyers to regain control and for this market to potentially move higher in the long run. Well, today was a very ugly day. Uh, high volume, heavy pressure to the downside. Uh, in yesterday's video, I was thinking potentially the shorts were going to get squeezed out of this market back to the upside and pretty much the opposite happened. Uh, longs ended up getting squeezed out of their uh, out of their positions after taking uh, after pressing higher, getting above the twenty, failing, rolling back over, uh, and getting back below yesterday's high, or excuse me, getting back below yesterday's low, resulting in an outside day down with heavy volume and pretty much almost vi revisiting the lows down here at fifty four thirty two fifty. A very impressive day for the sellers to say the least. I don't know if this is long-term selling or if it's, you know, something a little less. Uh, we can to traders, but nonetheless, volume spiked up tremendously, okay? Uh, average volume, you know, it's it's usually about 1.5 uh, million in the ES futures. Today, it was about 2.3. If we go to SPY, uh, give me a second. If we go to SPY, SPY is a little bit different uh, for SPY. Today's volume was about 74 million, uh, which is pretty good volume considering over the last couple of days, we've only done about 40 to 50 million. So volume picked back up in a pretty, pretty meaningful way as the sellers stepped back in on this move back up. And yesterday's video also did discuss how if we could not find acceptance over, uh, over the 20 day moving average, not only if we couldn't find acceptance over the 20-day moving average, uh, but if we could not fill the gap and find uh, acceptance over that 5,600 level, uh, then you know we would potentially roll back over and revisit these uh, lows, or not the lows, but the 12 wide point of control. And then if we couldn't hold there, then your next downside targets would be here, uh, and then taking back the good portion of what we did yesterday right so very ugly day for the buyers sellers stepped in and pushed this market lower pretty pretty heavily um very impressive and you know we're back to balance on the daily all right we're back to balance on the daily so what does that mean continue to wear your hard hats there's gonna be a whole lot of chop between the 5600 level and the 54 5450 level okay between 5600 and 5450 it's going to be a whole lot of chop until we finally get some type of cleanup and directional move to the other uh to to one way or the other all right we did fill both the upside gap and the downside gap uh the upside gap that we had back from the 23rd of last month and then the downside gap that we had from yesterday we filled that it wasn't a very large gap but nonetheless we did fill it uh and i think in yesterday's video i i said it if i did not say it uh I meant to say it, but basically, once you got below this 55.28 or yesterday's low and filled the gap, there was nothing to support this market. It was a, a a weak area. There was nothing in this area to support. There were no wide points of control. There was nothing in this area that was going to stop the or hold up the market until you got around that 54.40 level. All right, that was going to be the only level that you had in. Um, as like some type of support level okay so nonetheless uh no kind of all over the place but we're back to balance on the daily i felt like i needed to come in here and give you guys an update the daily back to balance was one time framing up now we'll see what happens come tomorrow the weekly continues to one time frame down uh that one time framing down does not stop until we take out a previous time frames high all right so we're looking to take out this or uh, this last week's low if we take out the uh, last week's low uh which is basically going to be our balance low of 54.3250 that will put the month or the weekly continue to put uh continue to grind downward and then the monthly we need to take out 
that low, right? So ugly start for August. Uh, if we take out last month's low at 54.3250. So tomorrow, basically what I'm saying is tomorrow, if we take out 54.32, we'll be one time framing down on the daily. The weekly continues to move down and then we'll be putting the monthly into a balance, okay? Because we will have then stopped one time framing up. You see how we've set a series of higher highs and higher lows? Well, if we take out this low here, we will be coming back into an initial three month balance and you'll look to find some buyers around the 5,300 level, all right? Um, depending on how much this market wants to pull back, that could be all we pull back to is about that 5,300 level, which in turn would clean up some of the gaps on the downside that we still have uh, that still need to be filled. We still have this gap right here at 5,400. And then a lot further down, we have this gap around 50, uh, 5,180. And then we have the gap further down at 5,100. Uh, we have the 100 day moving average at 5,345. That may come into play if we don't hold up here. If we do come back into some type of balance and start wiping out some longer term longs in this market. Uh, they will obviously begin to take some risk off, look to reaccumulate at lower prices, and then run it back up at some point. So maybe the 100 day moving average comes into play. If not, the 200 day moving average is way down here. I don't think we're going to get there. I really don't think we're going to get there. But I would not be surprised if, you know, prior to the election and everything else, we get a lot more volatility in this market, uh, causing a lot more chop, a lot more people to get out, a lot more risk off. And see, along with all the uncertainty in the world, see a little bit more of a drastic pullback. Um, from the highs, that would be a pretty significant pullback. That is a 12% pullback, 11% pullback. That is not what you want to see. I don't, like, I, like I said, I don't think that's going to happen. I think the extent of the move would probably be to around that 5,400 level or right around that, um, you know, where that gap gets filled or right around the 100 day moving average if we were to pull back. Uh, because I don't think we're going to take back all of this too easily. All right. There's a lot of, lot of, lot of downside destinations that we need to take back. All right. So let's go over the destinations real quick. Let's I'll go ahead and mark this stuff up. Um, go ahead and mark it up because it was a trend day down, an ugly trend day down with one. Two, three distributions. So it was a triple distribution day down with multiple sets of single prints. Very good extension on this push down here uh, in the first four time frames. Very, very good. As you've seen, once you filled the gap on the upside, you wanted to see acceptance over 5,600, right? We wanted to see acceptance over 5,600. We wanted to see volume push up. Instead, we got a little bit of a rejection. And then once we got back below the opening, we began to push down lower, one time framing down, uh, which ultimately led to that 5550 level that we were talking about in yesterday's video. We, how important it was to hold that 5550 level, and obviously that did not hold. We continued to one time frame down for the next one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight time frames. We one time frame down. Before we finally stopped the one time framing down, had a reversal bar and attempted to go trend down some more. So it was almost quadruple distribution day. Instead, it was a triple distribution day. By that, I mean, um, if I pull up my little distributions here, by that, what I'm about to highlight, let me get rid of this. Areas that I'm about to highlight or areas that we packed in volume act as distributions between sets of single prints. So this is a distribution up there. This is a distribution here. And then this is a distribution here. So you'll treat each of these distributions as different days. So you, tomorrow, if we open up in this lower distribution, sellers want to open up in the lower distribution, remain down here, and then begin to push lower below that 50, uh, 432. 50 level, the distribution that you uh, that I have highlighted there, um, it's not gonna let me see it, is he? That distribution that I have highlighted here is from this trend day up, which resulted in a gap, and then a 
push higher, right? So that it has been a very key level. Uh, the next distributions would definitely be on the downward, downward side. This area here between 53.90 and 53.70 would be another distribution. But as far as tomorrow goes, sellers look to open up below 54.90. If sellers open up below 54.90, we could shop in here a little bit. Um, essentially, you want to stay below 54.93. Don't want to get into this middle distribution and start taking back this trend day on the upside. However, this area between 54.40 and 54.32 has been a very strong support and key area uh, in this market. It's, we bounced off of it twice, area where we broke out of, uh, as you just seen. So look to see how we react to this level tomorrow. If we do hold here, you know, this could result in another push back up and start taking back some more of this trend day. Um, I'm personally not looking for that. I think sellers definitely established their footing today. Uh, I don't think they're going to give it up. Um, so we'll see if we open below 54.90 tomorrow or if we don't open with a gap already. Uh, look to see how we react between 54.90 and 54.40. Push lower would result in these downside destinations. Uh, you have single prints that get filled at 31. 27.50, 26.50, afternoon pullback low at 54.14, 53.98.75, low of day and where the single prints start, 53.93.50 where the next single prints fill, 53.90 is where the next single prints fill, and then the low of day from the 5th of June at 53.70.50. Uh, below that, there's literally nothing, a vacuum until 53.31.75, 53.09 is the next vacuum downside. And that is all the destinations I have on the downside there. Um, so just briefly, I know I've been all over the place bouncing around. I'm very excited to see this. I'm kind of upset. I did not participate in, the, in today. Um, after seeing the kind of reversal on the day, the very ugly reversal bar on the day, I just, you know, nothing enticed me, right? I wanted to see maybe if we held here, like... Uh, in this in uh, C period, if we came back and took back the trend, maybe I would have been looking to fade the extreme or look for longs against the 5330 level. Um, but because we continued to one time frame down, there was no way in this uh, no way I was going to get involved in this market. And then just the risk reward was not there on the pushes up uh, until right around the 5515 level against the one time framing. You had a two point risk there. That was a pretty tight risk. I uh, could have taken that, uh, which resulted in a pretty good push back down. Other than that, there really just was not much of risk reward. It was a melt down, uh, very, very weak day for the market. All right. So let's go ahead and mark these destinations. Today's high. If you don't want to stick around to this, you can skip to the end uh, as we will be wrapping it up then. But let's go ahead and mark these destinations. So we got today's high day. Oop. Today's not the today is the first of August. Very ugly way to start the month of August. We have single prints. Oh, let's start with the low of day here. And then we'll start with single prints. Low of day 54, 44, 75. 54, 44, 75. Not gonna be perfect. Low of day 8, 1, 24. You make that green. All right. You have single prints that start here at 90.75. Where the set of single prints begin. They start here. So single print start. We'll label it as such. Single print start. And all this is is just upside destinations that you will look to uh, fill and then look to see how price reacts. So between 90 and 93. We want to see how price reacts if we push up to that level. That's all that I'm saying here. All right, we just want to see how price would react to that level. Okay, 54.93 is where the single prints fill. First set. Next set begins here at 55.17.50. 55.17.50, if I can get it on the dot, nice. 
Fingerprints start here. I don't know why I keep typing them. Fingerprints then fit, get filled here at 55, 24, 50. Oh wait, just 24, excuse me, 55, 24. Where those get filled, fingerprints, fill. Next set, single prints get started here at 55, 28, 50. These are just upside destinations. Like I said, with any push up, you'll look to see how price reacts to these levels. Um, the biggest resistance area is definitely going to be between 93 and 55.17. Until and then there's literally nothing until 55.28. Um, previous day's low, basically. We get any acceptance back into the previous day's range, or not previous day, but in uh, back inside of Wednesday's range. You will pretty much just vacuum back up to where we had that wide point of control at 55.59. Uh, and you'll see how price maybe reacts there. And then a push into the upper distribution would be 55.76. It's not going to be easy to take back um, to take back today's single prints, in my opinion. It's not going to be easy for day to take back. It was a lot of volume on the pushes down. Um, very, very strong on the sell side. 49.75 is going to be where the next set single prints fill. Next set start right here at 54.50. several sets once again long video sorry about it guys it's just how it is um especially if you want to learn how to identify where single prints are located just intraday gaps is all it is essentially single prints fill here at 76 25 that is going to be the last set last stand for the sellers you don't want to open up in that open distribution otherwise things could get a really good push to the upside all right so there you have it folks sellers once again to reiterate want to open below 5490 take out the low at 5432.50 that is going to be the balance low and the monthly low you take that out so i'm uh, i'm actually going to highlight uh this and make it much larger just so we understand the significance of that level. So sellers want to open below 90, take out 32.50. Okay. If we open up in and can't take out the lows, look for a rotation up into 55.17. See how we react there. See maybe if we roll back over between 17 and 28, see if there's any type of resistance in that area. See if we roll back over as it was resistance prior, right between 55.17. In the high of 55.27, 10 point range, there was a lot of resistance there. We have three daily highs, four daily highs in that range that we're rejected from. So if we do push up into that area, see how we react. And if we push back over, honestly, I probably personally wouldn't look for, to short on a push up until around that 55.28 level, 55.17, just because of the significance of that area prior to us breaking out of balance. Okay. So. And because I expect the volatility and ranges to be much wider. So I'd look to short there for rotation back lower if we don't open lower tomorrow. Now with any push up above 28.50 and acceptance, look out because 76 will be your next destination on the upside. So hopefully uh, that all makes sense. Um, just real quick, I'm going to mark up the daily. Uh, and then like I said, if you stuck around, I'd truly appreciate it. Essentially, we're just going to make this all one large balance um today's high 5675 is going to be our balance high 5675 is going to be our daily balance high now so we just stretched our balance uh, pretty much over the last two days is what it looks like very nasty rejection of the 20-day moving average back below the nine back below the 50 
Let's see what happens if we take out 32.50. And then uh, we have this gap. Is this, a, yeah, we still have this gap fill at 53.85, 25. 100 day moving average, 53.45. So we could get another nice extension to the downside for the sellers. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks for stopping by. If you did enjoy the video and you made it to the end, leave a thumbs up, comment something nice. See you tomorrow.